Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality back with you here today to go over an article I thought would be pretty interesting and kind of one of those it's about time sort of things. So, article is from townhall.com from April 20th. It says state AGs rally to remind that prosecutors can be removed for not enforcing the law. And that seems like one of those, well, no shit sort of things. If you're not doing your job, you shouldn't be able to keep it. Seems pretty self-explanatory, right? So let's go ahead and see what the article has to say. So Governor Ron DeSantis made headlines and went to court for removing Andrew Warren, a George Soros-backed state attorney who vowed to not enforce state law on abortion and transgender procedures on children who may be experiencing gender dysphoria. I remember that, and I'm glad he de uh, DeSantis did that, because, again, if you're not going to enforce the law... Or if you're not going to basically, again, if you're not going to do your job, you shouldn't have it. Simple as that. <clears throat> as the matter progresses through the courts, 14 attorney, attorneys general have filed an amicus brief reminding that states can remove elected prosecutors who don't pursue criminal charges against abortion providers for not following the law. So says the Columbus Dispatch highlighted one such attorney general, David Yost. Yost of Ohio, who signed onto the amicus brief with the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, says prosecutors have no right to exercise a veto over an entire law. Is quoted as uh, it says is quoted as saying. I thought it must have been Yost is quoted as saying in a Wednesday press release from his office. But some are acting as though they do. They are breaking our system of government. The political preferences of a single prosecutor cannot be allowed to override a lawfully elected statute. Yeah, I, I can't imagine any job that you'd have. That you'd go into and be like, yeah, thanks for the job, but I'm just not going to do these duties of that job. And for people to be like, oh, yeah, well, then you can still keep your job. You can still totally have it. We're still going to let you hang around and, uh, you know, <laughs> still do everything uh, for that particular job. Like, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I just I just I don't know how anybody would be allowed to do that anyway. The article continues, said Warren had sued DeSantis, arguing that his removal violated the first, his First Amendment rights. What? What First Amendment rights? You, you, this, this isn't a free speech issue. This is, you, this is a you not doing your job issue. What the hell? You're a lawyer. What the hell are you talking about? His First Amendment rights. Anyway, says and emphasized that he had been elected, through, though Governor DeSantis, of course, has also been elected to his position. The Columbus Dispatch mentioned that Warren stunningly argued that DeSantis violated his First Amendment right to freedom of speech, while also saying his pledges did not represent the prosec prosecutorial policy of his office. Again, how how does you not doing your job violate your First Amendment right to freedom of speech? What, what the absolute hell are you talking about? Again, going back to like, if I was to go to a job and say, I'm not going to do these duties of this job that you guys hired me to do. And then you said, well, we're going to fire you. I wouldn't be like, oh my God, that's a first amendment violation. You're violating my freedom of speech. People would look at me like I was insane. They'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? That, that doesn't make sense. So this is Yas press release reminded though that Warren signed in his official capacity, a statement promising not to prosecute those people who provide abor abortions in violation of Florida law. Okay. So, I mean, regardless if you agree with a law or not, if you're not going to prosecute people who are breaking the law, you shouldn't have the job. It's your duty. That's what you're there for. You don't get into a position like that and go, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> oh, what if people break this law? Well, I guess they just broke the law. That's it. I just, you know, I'm just going to turn around and whistle and just be like, yep, nothing to see here. It says the amicus brief also focuses on First Amendment claims and early on makes clear prosecutors do not have the power to effectively repeal laws by categorically suspending enforcement. It also mentions that these pledges violate the traditional separation of powers between government branches and with a particular dig at Warren's arguments reminds that the idea that reminds that the idea that, OK, the legislative branch, not the executive branch, makes law is something every school child learns. Nice. The brief summarizes, says the First Amendment's free speech clause does not limit the state's ability to remove prosecutors who pledge not to do their jobs. This follows for two independent reasons. First, this free speech clause does not prohibit the evidentiary use of speech to establish misconduct. When a state official, like Governor DeSantis, removes a prosecutor, like Warren, who pledges not to enforce a category of laws, the official punishes the misconduct the speech proves, not the prosecutor's speech itself. Such punishment does not implicate the First Amendment. Second, the First Amendment, the, yeah, second, the First Amendment does not give public employees the right to perform their jobs however they see fit, right? This means that 
when public employees make statements pursuant to their official duties, the employees are not speaking as citizens for First Amendment purposes, and the Constitution does not insulate their communications from employer discipline. It follows that prosecutors like Warren remove for official capacity non-prosecution judges have no valid gripe under the First Amendment. So as U.S. District Judge Robert Hinkle ruled back in January that he did not have the power to remove him as a federal judge, citing the 11th Amendment. Warren has since appealed, and the appeals court announced last month it would set up a case for an accelerated review on May 1st. And the article concludes, as other states for the attorney general to sign on include Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, South Carolina, South Dakota, Texas, Utah, and West Virginia. Yeah, and again, like all these folks that are just not, not doing their jobs, and especially the ones in the big cities, they need to be removed from office, Okay. I don't know why they were elected. I mean, if you knew that that's what they were going to do, <laughs> like, why did you, why did you elect them to office? Get rid of them. Any of them that you know that are doing now, if you have, uh, I wouldn't, I don't even want to say it's a conservative, but someone that's at least looking at that going, these folks aren't doing their jobs. Like what's happening in Missouri, if they're trying to remove the uh, St. Louis, uh, I think uh, attorney or not attorney general uh, or well, yeah, or no, the attorney general is trying to remove uh, the um, district attorney or whatever for St. Louis because she's just not doing her job. That's got to happen because you see crime is just skyrocketing in all these major cities. And it's because of people like this that just don't want to do their jobs and they're endangering the lives of regular people. Okay, you see, I mean, how many times you see like just in like New York and Chicago, you know, where somebody was, you know, there's a bad crime that happens, you know, somebody was murdered. And then you find out that the person who did it, oh, wait, they were just in jail like the day beforehand and they were let go out of leniency or something like that. I mean, it happens pretty much daily. I don't even want to say pretty much. It happens daily and nobody seems to care. So if you have an opportunity to remove these people from office, please do it. Elect somebody else. And uh, hopefully things will start to get better because that's how it starts. Uh, Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon.